Hello, Ankita. Welcome to your, your Twitter platform. You are pursuing PhD at IIT Gurki in microelectronics, right? Yes, sir. So I'll be asking a few questions on like uh, what's your CGPA and uh, when did you get it and what's your gate rank, what's your gate score, uh, to which uh, IITs you applied, from which IITs you got the reply, what is the selection procedure or criteria at those IITs? Can you please tell us? Yes, sir. Sure, sir. So first of all, I did my B.Tech from a private institute with a CGP of 9.37. Okay. And my gate score in electronics in EC, it was 350. And in instrumentation, it was 396. So I applied at various institutes, but I mostly applied in PhD in those institutes. Okay. You they directly applied for PhD, not for MTech or MS. You applied for direct PhD. So am I audible? Yes, ma'am, you are audible. Yes, sir. So I applied in IIT BHU, Electrical Engineering PhD, IIT Dharwad, Electrical Engineering MS, IIT Indore, uh, in MS Space Science, Space Science and Engineering, IIT okay. Delhi MS, AI, Triple IIT Delhi, through non-get MTech in EC, DOMES in IIT Madras, PhD, IIT Hyderabad AI in PhD, IIT Goa Electrical Engineering PhD, IIT Palakkar MS in Electrical Engineering and last was IIT Roorkee MBLSI PhD and I was short. I was I applied in some more institutes but basically I got shortlisted in these institutes. Okay, in all these institutes you got shortlisted, huh? In all these? Yes. Okay. Yes. So why you choose an IIT Rurki as your well, uh, hmm. At last, I got two options. Like there was IIT Hyderabad AI PhD, which I had to give a, an interview, and IIT Rurki MBLSI PhD, which okay. interview I had already given, and I already got a call from the professor from one of the professors. Uh, and he told me that he wants me to take under his supervision. So I was already confirmed, like I would get admission here. So I chose IIT Roorkee and BLSI over IIT Hyderabad AL. Okay. So what was the selection criteria like uh, after uh, gate score, any exam or interview or a direct admission you got? And after the, we applied for PhD here uh, from their website, and I was shortlisted through Gate Four and uh, CGPA, and I uh, I sat for the interview. Okay, so you went for the interview. After interview, you got selected, right? Yes. Sir. Okay. There was oh. no written exam, just the interview. Okay, only interview they conducted. So yes. they, did they provided any syllabus for the interview? Means from which area you have to prepare like that? They given. No, sir. No, sir. Not there, was okay. the, there are some IITs which are providing syllabus for interview also, just like IIT Kanpur is providing. Fine. So interview was uh, mainly on uh, what concepts means basic concepts or the specialization what you selected. Like VLSA means you must be thorough with analog electronics and digital electronics, electronics part, right? So basically in PhD there are two sections like either simulation or fabrication, and I chose the simulation. Okay. In that section, we may, um, basically we had to be thorough with electronics, like the basics of electronics, fundamentals of uh, devices and everything, band okay. gap, okay. energy band diagram, all those things. Okay, Mod basics, spread. EDC. Yes. I can say electronic device and circuits, basics are required. So if yes. one, one is good at his basics, definitely you can uh, get selected in that interview. Yes, sir. Okay. What's your experience, ma? I think almost you are done with one year at IIT Roorkee in PhD. What's your experience there? Means how it is, how you are feeling? So my research work has already started along with my coursework since I'm directly after BTEC. So I had to take six courses. Um, like there was the two semesters, three courses in each semester. And along with my coursework, research work has already started. So... Uh, like, I'm really liking the atmosphere over here. 
and uh, the research my domain what i am studying about i'm really liking it okay fine fine so uh, what is the placement scenario for phd in microelectronics ma i think these days microelectronics is really booming in india vlsi field yes. so what is the placement scenario any previous batch of you uh, phd microelectronics who got uh, good placements and all yes sir like uh, one of my seniors got uh, an uh, for like he got in st microelectronics for uh, like for okay. for the position of uh, engineer like vls design engineer or uh, in that uh, yes. okay fine ma so what is the ranking of this course at iit roorkee ma means uh, uh, this course is popular in iit roorkee or uh, or not yes sir. microelectronics is popular in every iit so we all know that yeah. so of course yes. and in like mtech also all of the like most of the people in second year got placed okay. texas instruments qualcomm mm-hmm. then intel st microelectronics okay. they got placed in first one, uh, first day of the second day itself okay so uh, we can say that microelectronics is a really a booming one and you are doing phd if you really do a good job in your phd definitely there will be a great future right Yes, sir. So basically, I'm aiming for postdoc after this. Postdoc. Okay. Fine, ma. Thank you. Thank you for giving your valuable information with us. So I hope this will be useful for the upcoming students who want to prepare for PhD in microelectronics or VLSI or MTech or MS in microelectronics. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much.